Oh, yeah, you can shoot this. Wow. Yeah. I think the thing that might be disconcerting to some is that it's still in the shape of the animal. That's the front part, and that's the butt, and then the, there's legs. There's like a uh, the liver. Is that the liver? Yeah. I just want to get a big hunk of meat somewhere. Maybe this thigh. That's me. My name is Sunny, and you might be wondering how I got here. Well, let me start from the beginning. When I first came to Vietnam, I was on a mission to find the most unique and possibly unusual foods this place had to offer. Isn't that... that looks like poop. Yeah. I ate giant crickets, noshed on a couple scorpions, took a shot of cobra heart, and guzzled a bit of snake wine. All these tasty treats were pretty easily found within the city of Saigon, but rat is a different story. Delicious animals come in all shapes and sizes, so it breaks my heart when I see Americans eating only chickens, cows, and pigs, when there's just so much more out there. Oddly enough, I've been wanting to try rat for a while, but you can't find it in the city, and if you do see it there, run. Now, I wouldn't recommend eating a street rat that's been eating garbage all night, but rats in Vietnam, the kind you eat for dinner, feast on a diet of rice and fresh water, so they're basically paleo. And some of them do CrossFit. Today, we've journeyed a couple hours south of Ho Chi Minh City to this small market in the Mekong Delta. The Mekong Delta is a huge interconnecting series of rivers and streams that eventually empty into the sea. Australia has the outback, and Vietnam has the Mekong Delta. Today, we're at Miang Market in the Mekong Delta, a countryside market where locals sell fish, veggies, fruit, and rats. We're here for the rats. The smug traveler inside of me loves this type of place. No pesky backpack wearing foreigners breaking my facade of having an authentic traveling experience. Vendors looking at us like we must have taken a wrong turn while others remain completely indifferent. This place is unapologetically Vietnam, rats and all. We've only been here not even two minutes and already we found a huge bin of rats. Let's go check them out. Maybe they're on sale. Do people buy like one rat or how do they buy it? No, normally it's a cow kilo. They sell the rats by the kilogram and one kilogram, so it's seven rats. Like if she's eating a meal, how many would she eat? Okay, so I'll have like five or six maybe? Yeah, up to you. So uh, this is uh, rice rat. Rice rat. Yeah, the, the, the meat is very sweet. Oh, yeah, very good meat. Oh, I'm yeah, getting hungry best. already, man. Yeah. You wouldn't eat a rat from the city. Yeah, like yeah. in Ho Chi Minh City, we cannot eat. No. Yeah, okay. The and would they? Would the the city rat would taste different, right? Yeah, different. Yeah, and it would probably be a more arrogant rat too. Toe is my guy today. He's gonna show me around the market, help me buy some top shelf rats, and take me to his home deep in the Mekong Delta to cook them up. When is the last time you ate a rat? Maybe it's a couple of weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Yeah. Look at all the pig heads. Very nice. So these are prawns, right? Yeah. Shrimp? Shrimp. Yeah. I think most people don't realize that shrimp have claws. I, I like to say most people, and that's how I feel like I'm not dumb, because I didn't realize they had claws. Do you think it'll pinch me? Yeah. Will it pinch me? <laughs> that's a huge one. Do you like snake? Yes. It turns out it's a it's a hard thing to weigh. I mean, look at him trying to weigh it. He's trying to get me to smell the snake. It's an onion snake. It's supposed to smell like onion. Oh god, its head is over here. <laughs> it's not gonna bite. It does smell a little bit like onion. I think I'm gonna buy the rats from here. Good morning. She's taking a little nap. But guess what? It's time to sell some rats. When she uh, took it out, and said she has to kill it. Ah. Uh, so how does she kill it, the rat? Oh, yeah. God. So she's going to do that all right now? And how much are the snakes per kilogram? Um, one kilogram, uh, 500,000. The rat is way cheaper. Oh, my God. Look at this. No, keep shooting. One thing to keep in mind. The way they kill the rats, they grab the tail and they smash it on uh, the top here. Probably what's happening is they're snapping the rat's spine and then the rat is it's just dead. It's dead immediately. When you see it still twitching, that that's like its nerves, right? It's not that the rat is suffering, it's not in pain, it's dead. So probably, I know it looks brutal and gruesome, it's probably the quickest, least messy, most humane way to kill it actually. 
So we're going to see about seven examples of that now. Uh. It is sad because they're really fucking adorable, you know? But you're going to still see them twitching even though she, when she's all the way done butchering them, they're still going to be twitching. It's very disconcerting, but they're dead. They're dead as a rat. I don't know. I don't have to do metaphors. You know, right now she's going to, to, to skin them, clean them, all in about two minutes. I think she's done this a few times. Oh god, she cuts off the legs. I'm curious, uh, you bought rats today, is it a special occasion? This is a, it's a really nice set of meat, very sweet, so she really liked it. Okay, I'm gonna eat this today. Today, um, his mom yeah. is gonna make rat for us. Um, what is the best kind of wine to pair with rat? Boone's Farm? Rice wine. Rice wine? Yeah. Rice wine with a rice rat. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Can I eat these? Yeah, sure. Right now, like uh, this? No, we have to real uh, fry. Ah, uh, okay, so they dried the rat out, yeah. and then you have to still fry it or grill it. Yeah. Okay, I thought this was like rat jerky over here. I was getting ready to just like pull off a leg. Dodge the bullet there. So your mom has cooked rat before, right? Yeah, a lot and of times. So she's good? Yes. This is awesome. See, my mom is the best cooker in Vietnam. The best cooker in Vietnam? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask her about this. First of all, thank you so much for letting me come here and and your mom is cooking up the rat and we get to do it at your house and you borrow this table and chairs. It's like, I'm very blown away by it. So thank you so much. I used yeah. to have a rat for a pet, but you have, these dogs are your pets, right? This dog is like, yeah. is this for eating or no? Uh, we can eat, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought these were pets. Uh, normally so we uh, have dog for security, like security dog. Security. Uh, Wow, okay. Everything's on the menu. I promise it's the test better than chicken. Better than chicken? Yeah, you promise? Fun. Yeah, I promise. Oh, that's a big, yeah. that is a big claim. All right, we'll see. Is the rat meat better than chicken? We are gonna find out soon. After a long day hitting up the market, finding the most premium rats, selecting them, having their heads bashed in, having them skinned, bringing them here to your home, yeah. having your mother cook them, yeah. it is finally time, for the first time in my life, we're gonna feast on rat. Yeah. And you say, yes. better than chicken. Yeah, I promise. Okay, can we substantiate that today? Is that the liver? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the liver. Mm. Now this liver has hardly been used because Again, this wasn't one of those inner city druggy rats. It's a country rat, it's been eating rice, really pure. It's like it's been eating whole foods its whole life, okay? So. Mm. How do you feel about it? I like it, I like liver. I think I, I've had so many different animal livers this trip yeah. so far. I can see it in your mm. eyes, you love it, right? So nice. But there's just so many bones. Yeah. It's a little guy. I just want to get a big hunk of meat somewhere. You're right. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's like really mild flavor. It's, it's a little sweet. Chicken? It's just, uh, it's just not, it's just so small. I think I need to eat like seven or eight rats. Yeah. Like a fan, I need to eat like an extended yeah. family of rats. Too. It's really good meat. I could see eating this with some soup, some rice, um, cake, just a sheet cake. But I usually finish every meal with a sheet cake. And what about the skin? Oh my god, I just yeah. noticed that. The skin is good? Yeah, you're very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it like this. Why not? Okay. I hate to say it, guys. It's like, it's pretty damn good. Oh, there's a little bit of intestines left in there. Oh. Cute. Oh, this one's even better. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, you definitely need to try rat. But a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, field rat, not city rat. The second thing is, um, come to his parents' house. Now, people are fine. People can just come here and eat yeah. if they want to. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. But make a reservation Welcome. first. Don't be rude, all right? We'll see you next time on the Best Ever Food Review Show. That's not my real sign-off. Thank you.